Today's video, hand drops. This is something that um, was taught to me a long time ago and I kind of forgot about it. And it's a good way for all beginners to learn proper hand positioning for your hooks and your uppercuts, okay? Um, people always wanna learn how to throw hooks and uppercuts because those are the big punches, right? You got the, the left hook, the uppercuts, those are the shots everybody really wants to hurt somebody with. And um, you have to learn how to do it. And they're actually difficult punches to learn for some people. For some people, the left hook is the most difficult, or the right hook for the southpaw is the most difficult punch to learn. I got videos in the past where I did the uppercuts with the basketball. If you haven't seen my uppercut video with the basketball, check that out. If you haven't seen my other video on how to throw a left hook, check those out too. I'm gonna go in front of the mirror today because when I'm teaching this, I wanna look at myself and then I'm gonna to explain to you guys. I just wanna make sure I put my hands in the right positioning when I teach this. But we're gonna start off with the hooks upstairs, okay? Now, the hand drop is this. I'm in my boxing stance and I'm gonna bring my hand over my shoulder, okay? So now look. If this is my boxing stance right here, I'm bringing it to my shoulder, about shoulder level, okay? Palm facing this way, about shoulder level. So now I'm here, bang. From right here, I am just turning, okay? So let me show you guys what I mean. I bring my hand here, and then I turn, okay? Now, from there, I'm here, and I turn, only thing I'm gonna do is drop this hand. Now look, I'm here, right about shoulder level, I turn. Okay, I punch all the way through right now because I'm trying to get good leverage. Now when you have your hook, you need a nice L shape right in front of you right here. From here I'm going to drop my right hand and then I'm going to turn, turn my body, turn my knee, and everything, okay? So I went from dropping, turning, to dropping, turning. Now, a lot of people may say, well, you don't wanna bring your arms out. A lot of people don't like to teach the hand drop because you don't wanna bring your arms out, leave yourself exposed um, when you're throwing your hooks, right? People always try to say, throw the short hook. Throw your hook short. Okay, I get that, but you have to understand if you're really trying to get power on your hook, you are going to naturally drop your hand. So I'm gonna do it one more time. All right, I'm gonna look at myself, make sure I'm in the right positioning here. I'm dropping, turning, dropping, turning. So now when I go a little bit faster, only thing is gonna be is this. I'm gonna do it one more time slow. Drop, turn, drop, turn, I whop, whop. Okay, now when I go whop, 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 Wop, okay, wop, wop. You can't really see the drop as you speed those drops up. Okay, it's the same thing for the uppercut. If I'm right here, and I'm going traditional right now, traditional hands up stance, right? I'm dropping my right hand, I'm gonna start with the right hand, which will be the left hand for the south pole, and I'm dropping my hand to about chest level. Okay, you see that, it's about chest level. And then from right here, I'm just turning it up. So if I'm right here, Drop the hand, turn it, okay? Now, if I'm gonna go ahead and put it together, I drop, turn, drop, turn. Now, I'm gonna go drop, turn. Of course, the hand's gotta come back. Drop, turn. Now, as I do quicker, bop, bop. You see it? Look, bop, bop. Look at where my hand naturally goes. It has to come here in order to open up the uppercut. You can't do this. Right? You gotta drop the hand, bang. Drop the hand, bang. So you just go bop, bop. When you're doing the drops quickly, you can't see the drop. But what I'm trying to teach you is how to put your hand in position. The left hook to the body. Another big punch that I wanna do a separate video on, but I'm gonna go ahead and show the hand drop theory right here. If I'm gonna throw a left hook to the body, most of the time I'm going to slip, right? I'm going to drop my hand 
into that L position. Now from that L position, I'm just gonna throw it here. Now look, I'm here, I slip, I drop my hand here. So if I was, this was my starting point, this is where it's gonna be. Now yes, I know this is all open and that's fine for right now. And all I'm gonna do is dig right in. Now notice, I dig in and the shot kind of comes up like an uppercut because when you throw a left hook to the body, you're trying to get to that liver. So you drop it in and you're digging up. You're not really coming across like you would do a left hook to the head. But anyway, to get to the, to the point here, when I come here, drop and dig. Now if I do a quick, wow. See it, if I do a quick, wow. If I do a quick, I'm over here, wow. Look where my hand went, wow. So if I do a slow, piece by piece, bang. All it is is bringing it down piece by piece. A lot of things you can't see, right? Like I said, you drop the hands. Now you're, if you're practicing with these hand drops, which this is old school. This, I didn't make this up. This is old school training. You have to remember that this is only for the teaching purposes of where your hands need to be positioned. Once your hands are positioned there and you understand the positioning of the hands, then what you could do is speed those drops up. And when you speed the drops up, you can't even see them. Make sure you guys go to the website, coachanthonyboxing.com, okay? Check out the instructionals that I have there, the Philly Shell, you know what I mean? I, I'm so hype on that Philly Shell. If you haven't already purchased that Philly Shell, uh, it's an hour long. A lot of people have been asking me how long is the video? It is one hour long, gets into great detail. Um, I really highly recommend that one. And my footwork video has been getting very, very positive feedback and it's 50% off. So if you guys want a, you know, a really good beginner footwork video that's very affordable, make sure you go down to the website, check it out, coachanthonyboxing.com. I got more stuff that I'm gonna start putting together for the website and uh, I'm gonna keep dropping these videos, man. Like, subscribe, share. Please comment what videos you want me to do so I can continue to keep you guys happy, giving you guys what you want. Boxing life.